That's correct. That's not where a semi goes. So uh, we're doing recon in the outlying areas now, just tracking the storm direction and all the blah blahs. And it looks like really the storm hit downtown and then traveled to the northeast from there, uh, at least in Perryton, Texas. Now, rumor is that there were three tornadoes total in this area, uh, but as far as damage is concerned, it's all really centered from the center of town and then to the northeast. The outlying areas, uh, there's some stuff, but it's not, it's all energy infrastructure. It's not housing, it's not homesteads, it's not farms. Not that we've seen anyway. So uh, back at the FOP, and um, we're gonna do some more recon this afternoon and develop some hard targets to go and hit tomorrow morning. And we've got some feelers out in the community as well. There's a chance of another tornado tonight for this area, so that'll be fun. We shall see. All right, we are right on the border of the Texas and the Oklahoma panhandles. There's a tornado on the ground 20 miles north of us right now, back there in that storm system. And uh, the moment it's safe, we're headed in. What's crazy is the turbines on this side of the road are pointed this way and the turbines on that side of the road are pointed about 15, 20 degrees the other way. It's the first time in my entire life I've ever seen that. Because look, look at these up uh, to your left. That's moving quick. This right here. Yep. This is a rotating part of this storm. Yeah. And, and you can see it pulling in right there. Seven miles, I'm sorry, six miles south of Beaver, Oklahoma. That's the south. This is the north. And there are two radar confirmed tornadoes out there somewhere at the moment. has changed. This was blowing to the northeast and is now blowing to the southeast. It's moving right at us now. About face. Temperature just dropped 20 degrees. 
All right, so the storm that was blowing to the northeast near Beaver is now blowing to the southeast near us. And it is ugly looking behind us. So we're headed back towards Perryton, Texas, because I'm not a storm chaser. I'm a storm cleaner upper. That's what we're running away from. And it's moving right now at about 80 miles an hour according to meteorologist Andy Hill. And we are not going 80 miles an hour, we're going 55 miles an hour because we've got heavy equipment on trailers behind us. So we're alive right now. Thank you for not, not destroying the earth with a flood again. Double rainbow. Thank you, y'all. I should add that Beaver, Oklahoma, in that area, there was, uh, it looked like a tornado forming, but it did not touch down. We talked to the Beaver County Sheriff's Office and they did not need any assistance because nothing bad happened, has happened there as of uh, 2046, 846 p.m. Central Time. We're back at the FOB. Everybody's accounted for. Nobody got smashed by a tornado uh, currently that we know of, whether it's our crew or anybody else uh, in the surrounding neighborhoods. There's a lot of... Uh, potential for tornadic activity tonight with the storm fronts that are moving through from Colorado into western Kansas and the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma. So as of right now, we're going to chill. It's just about 9 p.m. Tomorrow we have targets to hit in town. And uh, yeah, you guys know the drill, grindstoneministries.com if you want to come and play or if... Uh, if you want to, you know, support the cause. Bless y'all. Shalom.